It's Israel's decision to mend ties with Poland over its controversial Holocaust bill, which stipulated fines and jail sentences, sentences of up to three years for individuals who, quote, publicly and in denial of the facts, blame Poles or the Polish state for carrying full or partial responsibility for crimes committed by Nazi Germany. Israel and other countries voiced their outrage, and six months later, Poland revised the law and cut any reference to possible jail sentences. However, the Holocaust Remembrance Center in, ya in Jerusalem, Yad Vashem, is saying today that despite a joint statement of the Israeli and Polish prime ministers this week hailing the changes to the bill, the legal battles against historians and other Holocaust researchers will continue. One academic, Professor Yuda Bauer, advisor to the Yad Vashem Museum, took it one step further, saying Israel committed a betrayal when it ended its diplomatic row with Poland over the bill that still exposes theoretically, people who blame Poles for Nazi crimes to lawsuits in civil court. And the leader of the Jewish Home Party, Minister of Education, Naftali Bennett, today called the agreement a disgrace. We're going to show, by the way, the, uh, uh, the ads that were put in uh, Israeli papers and Polish papers of this joint statement that I mentioned between uh, the Polish and Israeli uh, prime ministers, where they said, uh, uh, we have always agreed that the term Polish concentration and death camps is blatantly erroneous and diminishes the responsibility of Germans for establishing those camps. That's what got everybody pretty angry. Um, what do you think? Has, has Israel uh, uh, caved in to this Polish distortion of history, as some people are calling it? Well, first, you know that I'm leading uh, the friendship group between the Knesset and the Polish uh, parliament. Uh, and it, it is because of my Polish roots, and I was there many, many times and told Prime Minister Morawiecki and just this month, uh, the Minister of Entrepreneurship uh, of Poland that visited Israel, that this law and this bill was a disgrace. And they promised in a way from the beginning with that it will not stay. It will be disqualified and cancelled by the High Court or what they just did uh, in this deal together with Prime Minister Netanyahu. I think that it's good and it's a very good achievement that Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, uh, helped to cancel uh, this bill because this bill would cause a big, a bigger damage. Uh, what happened, and I don't necessarily understand with Minister Bennett. I think that if this bill would um, I got, become I got a say, reality, I, yeah. become a reality in Poland, and we would start with the lawsuits over and hunting Jews that speaking against Poland, the anti-Semitism of Poland in Poland against Jewish people, sir. I got to say, you sound like a rare voice today because uh, the, the Yad Vashem, the, the, all these experts at Yad Vashem at this Holocaust uh, Museum are saying it, it's erroneous. Uh, even people from your party, uh, Itzik Shmuley, uh, says that Netanyahu's joint statement with the Prime Minister, Polish Prime Minister, empowers Holocaust deniers. He said that Holocaust deniers should, quote, send flowers to the Israeli government and the man <laughs> leading it. You really to, seem to disagree with I, pretty I, much everyone I have today. to tell you that I didn't uh, listen to every word in the joint sta statement, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think that Prime Minister Netanyahu have any intention uh, to uh, whiten uh, crimes that was made by Polish people in the government. What I'm saying is what was the alternative. Yeah. The alternative was to go all the way with this bill and start a process of hunting Jews around the world that speaks against Poland. And there is things to say about Polish in the world. No one, no one is blaming Poland for uh, launching the Holocaust. It was the German Nazi. No. But, but to, to, to mention a specific, a specific action that was done by Poland uh, during the war, it's okay. It happened before, and it would happen anyway, okay. regardless to this bill. But come on. Daniel, should, should Israel rethink this joint statement? Look, the joint, there's a joint statement, and there's the agreement. I don't know exactly what the agreement says, but the joint statement is very problematic. Tell me you know, tell, In the same sentence, talking about fighting anti-Semitism, and fighting, fighting anti-Polishness is just not acceptable. Those are two, it's like yeah. talking about two things yeah. like that. Yeah. And they, the Poles have a case that the, uh, some injustice has been made in public discourse in Israel and around the world about their responsibility or non-responsibility, but you still can't put it on the same level as fighting anti-Semitism, something that is deeply rooted in Polish culture for centuries. It's just not possible. Now, if that was a, a, an isolated hiccup, would be one thing. It happens. The prime minister didn't read it. His team didn't tra <laughs> translate it. Yeah. You can always find something. Yeah. But there is a context. Yeah. And the context is that we tend to be a little bit too lenient with 
European governments that are allies to Israel, and it's important that they are political allies to Israel, a bit too compromising on the responsibility that we as the Jewish state also have towards the Jewish people and Jewish heritage. You cannot compromise fighting anti-Semitism just because you want the Poles to help us in the UN. Is that what's been done? Compromising anti-Semitism? Just to get... Just to get closer to the I, Polish I government, who, for example, might move its embassy to Jerusalem, and I don't think the embassy is the issue here. But they are really, good, yeah, they no, are no, okay. they, they, getting close. They getting close. What? No, I, I think I, I tend to agree. I'm okay, not think it's on the table. I don't no, think I don't it's think on the it's, table. Uh, they may or may not. That's yeah. irrelevant to this particular issue. But I agree with everything that both Chilik and, and Danny said about this here. It's uh, what do you make of what I started to mention about Israeli? Uh, this Israeli coalition getting very close to uh, uh, more uh, right-wing uh, governments, in particularly in Eastern Europe. We have joint and, uh, interests, not only for the support of Israel, international support of Israel, but also the, the problem that they're experiencing with the, the rise of Islam right now is something that certainly they're concerned about and we should be concerned about because it affects Israel's would international you, relations. Would you, how do you feel about that? And, and sometimes people well, say that it comes at the expense of relations with uh, our traditional Western European allies getting close to these uh, populist governments uh, in Eastern Europe? Well, it depends what government, and this is an elected uh, government. Uh, the, the, the Visegrad, uh, the, the yeah. Visegrad. No, I, 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 members of the EU, I mean, we can't be more, I'm, I'm not saying we should not have contacts with, the, I, I may not like them personally, and honestly, I don't. Okay, but, but it doesn't matter. 20, there are interests I, here, and we do have relations with them. To, and, and, and I don't think that the, this comparison is, is okay. There are the elected uh, government in Poland. Poland is becoming more and more important state uh, in the EU. I think we, we should try and strengthen the relations between, not on expense, uh, on the expense of uh, fighting anti-Semitism, and the test will be the test of the reality on the ground.